Hello everybody, so this time we're going to be going more in depth into all of these types of entries. Um, I might have little blank out spaces or where I might have to reach my mouse out of the screen to take a look at my script again because um, I kind of can't remember everything I'm saying right off the top of my head so I have to look at a few things. So we're going to start taking a look at, well, first we have to get an idea of the registry. So we're going to go and open the registry using regedit, which is Windows default registry editor. What we have here is six different, um, I mean, five different parts of the registry. Uh, this is HT classes root, which is kind of like uh, it's almost like a, the shortcut part of the registry where all the shortcuts from here to there are stored. HT current user is the current user settings. HT local machine is the entire machine settings, and HT users. Um, this isn't necessarily on most machines, and that's not all that important. And this one isn't as important either. It's just more of a configuration, a configuration thing. Well, this is important, but it's just we're not going to be going into that because that's not as overall important in terms of what we're looking at. So the way the registry is divided up is basically into keys and values. So let's actually open up and we'll head over to our RO, R1, R2, and R3 sections. So this is going to start us in H key local machine and the RO is stored at H key local machine software Microsoft Internet Explorer and then we're looking at main. So if we take a look at here, main is a key and uh, you'll notice that within the key we see a lot of these different things and these are called values and there are several different types of values and several different data types of the values and what a value has is a name and a value assigned to it. Some are kind of some are yes no values. Some are actual written out kind of command values. Like here, if we take a look at this, we'll notice that my default page URL. This is kind of an RO thing. Is this website right here, which is Microsoft's default website. Uh, my search, my default search page is Microsoft again, and my start page again is Microsoft. So those are keys. Now I could edit my start page by modifying the data and typing in www.google.com. Now if I open up Internet Explorer. I'm I did that wrong. <laughs> I need to modify my search page too, I think. Uh, I'm going to put it in http http2. And I'm actually going to And then we also must modify this and we must modify this. All right, so now if we open up Internet Explorer, gee, I'm I'm failing today. I am not editing this correctly. Uh, HKLM is not going to modify my Explorer. I would have to go under HKCU for HK current user and modify that stuff. So that was just me messing around, and you get to see a little bit of me doing my Madata stuff. Um, so the next thing that we'll take a look at is, so those are, well, first of all, those are the main keys behind RO, 
and then R1, R2, and R3. So if a program wants to modify your start page, that program doesn't go to Internet Explorer and change something. It actually goes to the registry and changes it. So this is where all that kind of stuff is stored. And um, there are a couple other keys that are in the RO, R1, R2, R3s. Uh, you have HKLM, Software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, Main. Then you have HKCU, Software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, Main. Then you have HKLM, Software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, Main. And then different values under that. And they're all under that except you have um, you have HKCU software Microsoft Internet Explorer search URL uh, you have HKCU software Microsoft Internet Explorer connection wizard uh, um, HKCU software Microsoft Internet Explorer URL search hooks and then HKLM software Microsoft Internet Explorer search so whatever you get the idea it's a lot of a lot of different keys for this one um, entry if we go back on hijack this main menu do a system scan only um, my entries didn't show up which is fine <laughs> I was wondering if they would for some reason um, then R3 is the only other interesting one though because R3 is under a URL search hook and this is a good time to get into CLSIDs uh, R3 is the URL search hook which is located under H key current user software Microsoft Internet Explorer URL, URL search hooks and the way that this works is it uses a CLS ID, which is a shortcut, which is stored in H key classes root. And then if you scroll down to CLS ID, right here, all of the CLS IDs will be listed. This is like the shortcut. So if there's a CLS ID anywhere in the system, it directs through H key classes root CLS ID and then you have your CLS IDs there and then there's another spot in H K L M H key local machine that is another place for the um, CLS IDs so URL search hook uses a CLS ID that is redirected through these places to find what its original value and purpose is. So it's basically like a shortcut on your desktop. That's the main idea. And so the next video we're going to take a look at some other values and loading types. So I'll be back in part three.